I'm Jack Chrysler. You may know me best because my grandfather founded Chrysler Corporation, the automobile company. What you may not know is that I founded Chrysler Aviation in 1977, which means I've been working with titanium for many years. This is my vessel, Valhalla. We're leaving for the island of Molokai, Hawaii tomorrow. There's not one ounce of titanium on this boat. She's loaded with stainless steel, shiny stainless steel, as you can see. Pretty, isn't it? The, the problem is it cost me about $3,000 a year to keep this stainless steel polished the way it is. I'm sure you realize that stainless steel is primarily made out of iron, and iron rusts away. So if I don't polish Valhalla stainless, it rusts. But what you probably don't know is that stainless crevice corrodes from the inside out, even when polished. Those tangs and clevis pin have crevice corrosion in them. When it fails, Valhalla's mast comes down. Where are those parts? Shiny on the outside, but looks like dirt on the inside. This is a dolphin striker toggle. Doesn't look good. These tangs were holding up somebody else's mast. Looks like their mast came down. What this means is that every piece of stainless steel on Valhalla is on a time clock, corroding from the inside out. It will all have to be replaced eventually. Enough of that. We're leaving for the northern coast of Molokai, one of the most beautiful places in the world. In the aviation industry, we've been reaping the benefits of titanium for years. So one has to ask, in the marine industry, why aren't we seeing titanium all over the place in pleasure boats and ships? There are several reasons for this. The first is a complete lack of understanding concerning titanium. Titanium has three benefits over all other structural metals. First, 6.4 titanium is three and a half times stronger than 316 stainless steel. Three and a half times stronger. This means if you make a part out of titanium and only use half as much metal, that part is still stronger than one made out of twice as much stainless steel. Did you get that? The second benefit is that it is lighter, 44% lighter than stainless steel. With the rising cost of fuel, reduction in weight becomes all the more critical. Where's that bolt? Thank you. You can't feel this, but it's weird. If you're used to the weight of steel, the reduction in weight of titanium just doesn't seem possible. The third big benefit of titanium is that it is immune from rust and crevice corrosion, which means that a part in titanium is a part that will last virtually forever, even in salt water. So there you have it. It's lighter than stainless steel, it's stronger than stainless steel, and it's immune to all environmental corrosion. Hey guys, we gotta prepare to go into Alawai Harbor right now. Every one of these vessels at the Alawai Marina is suffering from stainless steel crevice corrosion. In other words, the metal is corroding from the inside out. I'm going to show you some pictures of what this looks like. For you boat owners, especially those of you running tourist operations who have had some serious incidents lately, when you see significant rust running down a stainless steel part or weeping from a crack, it means you've got crevice corrosion inside your metal. This is what I'm talking about. Remember, stainless steel is primarily made out of iron, and iron rusts. 
The chrome in the stainless keeps the metal looking good on the outside, but what's going on on the inside is what counts. In this photo, the iron is corroding internally, creating pressure until the metal cracks. That picture was taken in this harbor, and that part holds a lifeline to keep people from falling overboard. When you consider the benefits, comparable cost to stainless steel, 44% lighter, three and a half times stronger, immunity to crevice corrosion, why would everybody be switching to titanium? One of the reasons has been lack of availability. Allied titanium is changing that. That's better. You know, there's more titanium in the earth than all the nickel, copper, chromium, lead, tin, and zinc put together. Titanium is the fourth most abundant metal after iron, aluminum, and magnesium. When titanium became available after World War II, many thought it would become as commonplace as aluminum. This didn't happen because it was too expensive and mostly due to the high cost of refining. Now this is changing as new smelting technologies come online. What's going on now is the cost of stainless steel has been going up, while the price of titanium has been coming down. This is creating a revolution in metal and allied titanium is on the forefront of this revolution. For you boat owners like myself, switching to titanium when it's time to replace your stainless steel makes good financial sense, especially when you consider the reduction in labor costs for polishing alone. For you shipping company and fishing fleet owners, your continual replacement costs of stainless, painted steel, and galvanized steel over and over has to be astronomical. And for you custom car and motorcycle owners, many of the chrome steel bolts you are using are low strength grade two. Besides, the chrome's gonna bubble up in a few years anyway. There is another issue we need to discuss, re-engineering for titanium. When mankind left the Bronze Age and entered the Iron Age, weapons and tools changed due to the different properties between the two metals. Then we left the Iron Age and entered the Steel Age. Everything was re-engineered again to take advantage of steel's benefits. Now we are entering the age of titanium and the whole process of re-engineering is happening all over again. If there is a part made out of stainless steel and the engineering for it was done properly, it really doesn't make sense to duplicate it using a part that is three and a half times stronger when you can re-engineer it for titanium, reducing size, weight, and cost even further. The aerospace industry has the most experience with this, but the oil and automotive companies, such as Chrysler Corporation, are catching up as well. Most people have never seen titanium, let alone work with it. The mission of Allied Titanium is to put affordable titanium in your hands at a price comparable to stainless steel. Let's take a look at titanium from Allied.
Beautiful, isn't it? By now you've probably figured out that I'm a stockholder in Allied Titanium. My grandfather taught me that if you see an opportunity, seize it. I saw an opportunity and decided to sit on the board of directors for Allied. I might not have mentioned that titanium is non-toxic to animals and humans. In fact, it's so biocompatible with the human body that it's used for body parts, such as hip replacements. I'm an industrialist, but I'm also an environmentalist. Titanium is good for the earth and industry. Allied Titanium is making titanium available and affordable. Take care.